Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Baldo the Guardian Owls on Apple Arcade for the Apple TV. So the game is loading up here, we're on our title screen, and when I got into this game it really sort of reinforced to me that I may need to go ahead and start recording on a later generation Apple TV. So right now, this is recording on the Apple TV HD, and uh, I think the quality there is low, as you can see. Uh, this game has uh, a pretty robust sort of uh, graphics that they've you know, put into it. You can see uh, definitely within the trailers. And uh, I left it here on low quality here. I think it makes for a uh, smoother gameplay. But on the Apple TV HD, it still felt a little... Um, Kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of glitchy just at the very beginning, kind of transitioning into the opening story here. Uh, so, what I think I'm going to end up doing here eventually is just going ahead and getting the Apple TV uh, 4K second generation and kind of moving some of my devices around. So, as you know, I have the, the TV HD and the first generation 4K, but I usually don't record on that. Uh, I usually use that kind of as my main viewing TV, but uh, I think I may go ahead and sort of, you know, make some changes here. So we're uh, getting into our opening scene here. And onboarding, completed game tutorial is there from the game center, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. So uh, I know that... <laughs> We're still kind of very at the very beginning here, so I wasn't sure what I had completed. All right, so now we have Luna here speaking, and what I was able to grab there was just kind of there is the roll option, so X is being used to roll here. And a little bit later on, I figure out how to run, but it took me a little bit of time. Wasn't able to like easily pull open like a, just a, uh, kind of like a heads up menu. Heads up display menu or anything like that. And once we start off our game, there are many sort of quests and side quests that you're just kind of, uh, given almost right away here so what's nice about this world this this baldo uh guardian owls world is it is it's very expansive so once you start here there are plenty of quests side quests that you can get thrown down that's one thing where i think that's that's, that's a good thing because there's a lot of sort of uh, replay value and there's a lot of uh, a lot of great gameplay but also kind of um just from the very beginning, it can be a little bit overwhelming potentially. But uh, you know, instead of having just one, you know, one main quest that you're kind of on, and then it can open up a little bit. This almost immediately, it felt like to me, kind of uh, it just kind of gives you a whole bunch of side quest options as well on top of your main quest. And you'll see that I think that that number two there in the in the at the top of the uh, screen flashing, that's your your main quest. And then as I kind of walk around town a little bit more we do start to pick up more side quests and kind of other things so right now we're talking to grandpa and he's just kind of giving us a little backstory I think on the guardian owls and more on the town a little bit here when I, when I first saw the trailer for this game it definitely gave me that Legend of Zelda sort of feel um kind of i saw a little bit of the uh, attacking sort of uh, system or kind of the battle system and um i, I would say uh, maybe a, a simplified version of that zelda not kind of completely with the same sort of battle system and you know within my recording here I will jump around a little bit. Again, it is a pretty expensive world. 
I didn't get into too much of, uh, you know, of, of those sort of battle uh, situations, anything like that. So for the most part, this is me sort of walking around town. I do, uh, I think, a couple side quests I complete, but there is, uh, you know, a lot of different things you can kind of get your hands into here. So it looks like I picked up a tip there. And then it looks like we have about sort of three sort of uh, main quests that I'm able to sort of move forward on as of now. So we're going to walk around uh, the town a little bit more. I think it's Kadoge or Kadoji. And again, this game, even on the lowest quality here, so it still looks pretty smooth, looks, looks good. So I have the game on the low quality uh, graphic, if I'm not mistaken. And again, this is on the Apple TV HD. Uh, and again, for, for those of you who follow, who follow my channel, you know, I do all of my recordings for the most part on the Apple TV HD. And I think that after kind of playing uh, this game, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the second generation and uh, probably start doing some of my recording on there. So I'll let you guys know once I sort of make that transition. Either on the first first generation or the second generation 4K, I'll start to do my recording on, so. But we'll see. So we're here with Kanchi. Again, just a little bit more sort of backstory on, uh, the town slash these uh, shields. So, with this, you know, th there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of heavy preparation that kind of gets you set up before you um, kind of go into like a, a, like a battle scenario within the game. It doesn't just throw you into it, which can be, you know, which can be a good and bad thing. Some people may, may say it's a little slow in the beginning kind of when you start this game um, but you know there's individuals who, who sort of like that build up so you can kind of get um, kind of a, a grasp and feel of kind of where you're from uh, you know how the town is set up and with this girl Luna again I'm, I'm not sure if this is a sister or just kind of a close friend yeah you can kind of have her follow you or you can have her just kind of wait up on you and just chill somewhere which is pretty cool so here we're just at the edge of the town uh, that leads into the next town and we have like a little bit of a guard here. Yeah, as of now they're not letting us out so we're gonna kinda go a different way here. So yeah, now that's, that's quest number four that was added. And again, I'm not, I haven't really walked around too much here, just kind of a little bit. So you have the, the four quests kind of blinking there. Which again, I don't, you know, I don't, which I don't feel particularly appealing kind of right away there with the kind of four quests. It feels like a, like a little bit daunting to me, I don't know why. I kind of like the option of taking on quests. So there's a lot of games that you know, kind of as I kind of enter into this cave area. Again, I'm still walking around, just kind of showing you guys uh, around sort of the meat, just the meaty area of the game. So this isn't very deep into it at all. Uh, so we're still in the same town. This is the abandoned mine area. And again, I have no weaponry on me, no shield. So I walk in here probably a little too early. And I'm walking around, I think I do get uh, dinged by like a little bit of, like a, of, a, of a bat here. Just because I see like the little, on my map, I see the red icon. So I, I try to approach it, it ends up kind of uh, biting me, I think. Or whatever, hitting me. So I'm like, okay, I'll probably end up dying in this cave. So let me just uh, get out. So I saw my heart meter go down. But uh, back to the quest though, uh, yeah, I, I do like the idea of maybe accepting a quest or, uh, you know, holding off on quests, you know, so 
as, as we walk around the town a little bit more here. I like the idea of accepting quests and kind of maybe, uh, uh, you know, tending to them a little bit later. This kind of just throws it on you. So almost like a cat quest, if you guys have played cat quest, you do have your main missions and your side missions. It's a very expansive world, but you have an option on whether you want to take on a quest or not. So here is once you talk to an individual, you're just kind of given that quest to uh, go ahead and complete. It doesn't give you the option. So um, I may be nitpicking a little bit there, but um, you know, I, I just think that uh, you know, I, I just like it better with with that option there. So we walked into like another shop here. So potions for for uh, life and things like that, red and yellow potions. As of now, I have no money to uh, be able to purchase uh, purchase any potions for, for life or anything like that. So just going back around the other side of the home here. It's another shop, or I think it's the same part of the shop, a different portion of it, different level of it rather. So Adina's farm with the chickens he's talking about. So that is one of our either main quests or side quests that I've been assigned or is going to be assigned to me shortly here. But again, they've, they've put a lot of um, effort into the graphics here. Again, I was saying, like I said before, I may have already said it, but yeah, this is on the Apple TV HD. And I have the quality on low and it still looks really good. Still holds up really well here. Uh, there's no game on the Apple TV. I feel like that looks like this. Maybe the, um, it's not, it doesn't look exactly like this, uh, but uh, maybe like that, that ocean horn, uh, not, the Kron not the Kronos dungeon that I reviewed already. So check that out if you haven't, but the, the, the single player ocean horn. I think uh, they resemble this a little bit. Okay, see I die here because I, I, I fell. So you do get fall damage. And uh, it gave me the option to quit or continue. I chose to continue. We're back on the load screen here. So yeah, I did have that one heart. Sort of life. All right, so this is where I just kind of figured out how to run. So I think it's that right trigger, the upper right trigger there. Because again, I'm trying to get to—I was trying to get to a control menu. I'm not sure if I was pressing the, the right buttons. Again, I'm using my Steel Series Nimbus, like I always do. So, you see me start to run around here a little bit more. No. Because I'm not sure if that tutorial, I don't know if it was, it was, it was a glitch or something I skipped within the tutorial. But I didn't get down all the button sort of mechanics. So yeah, if you're, if you're playing on the Apple TV, let me know if you had any sort of issue with just kind of nailing down the, the, the buttons and kind of the full mechanics here. I, I may have skipped something or there may have been a little bit of a glitch there. Getting some more backstory from just the people that live within the town here. All the residents and everything like that. So we were given a little bit of a side story or a side quest there. So we do have the side quest, which is the um, like the word bubble, that green word bubble there. So that's flashing one. We do have the four main quests that's flashing there, and then the one tip. So having it up there, it, it again, it's a little bit distracting. I know it's it's a good reminder, but like I was saying before, I like the option of being able to kind of maybe um, have options on what you pursue right away. 
and then maybe more of a something that's built more into like a linear story so the thing is we do have our main quest um, and then you know you see that I have, I have my side quest that's been added I feel like uh, these quests can be kind of delivered still and still completed but if, if there's a way to make it feel maybe a little bit more linear at least at the very beginning kind of once you once you're still kind of figuring out the game and once you've maybe kind of gone through a full sort of a system on attacking and, and everything like that and kind of feel comfortable with the game then they can maybe start to uh, you know throw some more of those quests and things like that on you because you, you you sort of feel like almost like a a feeling of like kind of like being uncompleted right away no where it's way. like okay you have multiple kind of uh, things to do like homework <laughs> that you haven't completed yet so I, I do enjoy completing all the quests and everything like that but it does feel like uh, I don't know a sense of like you know not being completed right away which you don't really want when you you know first start a game you want to feel like you're completing everything that needs to be done and you're kind of you're on the right track And again, this town is pretty expansive. You know, I, I walk around it for a while, and a lot of this I've kind of edited uh, for you guys. Um, just kind of getting from the different uh, residents and kind of walking around, trying to find my way, ta way around town. There's a, a lot going on. All right, so I was able to complete one quest, talk to Mrs. Dina. But I was given, I think, what, two more quests, or one more side quest, one more main quest on the, uh, on the, on the way to completing that one quest, so. And now I'm up to five, I think, quests. I have my two tips and then two side quests. See, one of them was completed. I'm not sure if I gained two or three right there after talking to Idina. But uh, I thought I'd be at four main quests, but it looks like five. All right, so I found my first chest here. So I do have a little bit of money now. So I will eventually make my way back up to the shop that we were in a little bit earlier. And maybe try to purchase something. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get a shovel, because I know where that is. Try to get that uh, that cabbage out of the ground. But yeah, this 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 is just my uh, I guess very sort of brief review. Just a small sort of a sort of sample and look at uh, Baldo the Guardian Owls. This again is still kind of the very beginning uh, of the game or stages of the game. Kind of just walking around town. Again, it is, it is in a very expansive world. Plenty to do. You, know, you have more than enough to do kind of once you, you start. So there's multiple sort of uh, quests, side quests that you can go down as I pick up the shovel here. I was able to get that and kind of go on uh, or work towards completing another quest here. And now, uh, I have my pick item, my quick, my quick weapon item selection with the D-pad, so I was able to figure that out. So I know how to roll, pick up items, drop items, and now I have uh, the shovel handy on me. But uh, that's pretty much my review on the game. Uh, ch check it out for me. It does, um, you know, it does move very smoothly. The game is pretty tight. It's just about kind of, you know, f figuring out the. Uh, 
the uh, kind of um, what is it? The mechanics of it all, as far as kind of you know what you use to talk, what you use to uh, shovel or dig or pick up, uh, roll, run, dash, all those things. Once you get all those things done, the game is uh, pretty smooth. As my cabbage explodes in my hands from uh, falling from too high. But um, yeah, once you get all those things done, the game moves pretty smooth. Um, you know, the, uh, the graphics are strong, the sound is good. You know, th there's a lot there. Um, but yeah, it is a very expansive world and environment. So that's, that's one thing that some gamers may need to adjust to. It's not as linear as you may think. So you have kind of multiple sort of tangents that you're completing as you're completing uh, or, or going through the main storyline here. So it seems like. Uh, other than that, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.